you so much. Today we are having beef kielbasa with these yummy noodles, you guys. These noodles, I had a little taste of the noodles because I just wanted to see if it was spicy or what, what, how it was. It is absolutely delicious. I'm going to tear, tear this food up. Now this is the pack that I have. I don't know how to pronounce everything, you guys, so I'm sorry. Um, you guys seen this pack many times before. I have ketchup and mustard here. And I also have a story time of the worst date I've ever been on. So I'm gonna eat a little bit and then we're gonna get into the story time. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. These are probably the best noodles I've ever had. They are so good. Mmm. Mmm. I got these noodles. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You guys, this is so good. Mm. Oh my God. You guys. Let me take these earrings off. They ain't getting in my way. You guys, I'm not kidding. This is so good. These noodles are better than any noodles I've ever had. They are so delicious and not spicy. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good just the way it is. It don't need anything on it. The ketchup and mustard is perfect. Mm, 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 mm. This is something that I've seen the Koreans eat and it is absolutely positively delicious. I see why they eat it. I totally see why they do it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. They pile it up on here. Mmm. Okay, 
So I had to get some food in me first, you guys. And now I can tell you my story time. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, I'm serious. I'm not making that up. You got to try it. Okay. So worst date of all time. <laughs> so I was, I think I was like 19 or 20. And the guy that I went on a date with, we had a mutual friend who is the one who actually, uh, excuse me who actually set up the date. Um, the guy was so, he liked me. His, the friend came up to me and said, my friend, you know, he's been watching you for some time. He really likes you. And, you know, he's just very, very shy. Now, if a guy likes you, and he can't come up to you and ask you for your number. He don't deserve to go on a date, in my opinion. Because um, you got somebody else asking me. But I was like, whatever. He was like, he's a really nice guy. Um, would you be willing to go on a date with him? So I was like, eh, let me think about it a little bit. So a couple of days went by and I thought about it and I said, okay, I'll go. So... I have been talking to the guy, you know, to go and get prepared for the date. He asked me where I wanted to go, all that stuff. So he tells me that he's going to come pick me up at the house at 7. I'm like, okay. So he gets there at 7, and he was a gentleman. He gave me a box of chocolate, and, you know, I was excited, and I was ready to go. He wasn't ugly or anything like that. He just seemed very nervous from the very from the from the moment that he got there. He was extremely nervous. So we get into the car and all of a sudden the car doesn't start. So I'm like, okay. I was like, don't worry about it. I'm going to get a jump, you know, and I'm patient, and I was like, okay, oh, excuse me, mm. you guys have got to try these noodles, I'm not kidding, they're so good. So, he calls somebody, and they not they didn't answer. So then he calls like AAA or something like that. I don't think it was AAA, but I know he called a company. So they tried to run his card because he had to pay for it over the phone. So they tried to run his card, and the card declined. You guys. Oh my gosh. So can you imagine he was already nervous to meet me or go on a date with me? Then when we get there, the car does not start. The battery must have died or something like that. And when he tries to get help, the car declines. And I'm like, oh God. So he's just on the phone. He's embarrassed about that. So then he called somebody else. And um, somebody drove all the way up to where we were. And he, they told him to pop the trunk. <laughs> they told him to pop the trunk. He pops the trunk. And then and in the trunk is a automatic um, battery jumper or whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's the kind where you don't need... 
You can just, you, you know, plug it up to your car and it's fine like that. So, the guy that came to pick, came to give him a jump was pissed because he had drove 30 minutes to get there. At this point, I'm like, oh my God, this is just a mess. <laughs> so finally, we get in the car, we get ready to go to the date. Mind you, I'm still ready to go. Like I was, I was just like, okay, let me just make sure I got my money just in case we go out to dinner and he can't afford it or whatever. Let me just make sure. So I made sure that I had my money and we was good to go. So we riding down the street or whatever. And he's like trying to make conversation. Um, he's stuttering. He just saying anything. Don't know what to say. It's a green light. And he stops as if it was a red light. I'm like, oh my God. And there's people honking the horn. I'm like, why are you stopping? And he's like, oh my God, it was people honking. I mean, we're in the middle of the highway and he's thinking that the green light was a red light. <laughs> at that point, I was just like, oh my God, I can't wait for this to be over. Like, this is just too much at this point. I'm like, oh my God, how are you that nervous when you're forgetting how to do basic stuff? Let me eat some more. Hold on. Mmm. I cannot get over how good these noodles are. I'm not kidding. This is five packs of these noodles. Mmm. And they are really, really good. So we get to the restaurant. Don't worry about my car declining before. I called my bank, everything is okay. It was declining for security reasons, which I think he was lying about that. He's like, well, before we get to the restaurant, he's talking about in the car, how he's going to, cause while we were over the phone, he was like, I want to take you to a five-star restaurant. I was like, okay. Whatever, I didn't ask what restaurant it was. Um, <laughs> I did not ask what restaurant it was. I just figured he knew what a five-star restaurant was. I was dressed very nice. So we pull up, you guys. I am not kidding. We pull up. I don't know if you guys know what this restaurant is, but we pull up to Old Country Buffet. Ah. It's bas it was basically like a buffet, you guys. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a buffet. And I'm like, I'm like, I thought you said we was going to a five star restaurant. And he was like, this is a five star restaurant. I was like, no, it's not. This is a buffet. <laughs> and he was dead serious. Oh my God, he was dead serious. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Now, I'm okay, like, for a first date, I don't wanna go to a buffet. Now, if that's all you can afford, fine. But I personally don't wanna go to a buffet on my first time going on a date with somebody. It don't got to be five star. It don't got to be like all fancy. But I don't want to go to a buffet. I was like, you know what? In my mind, I was already like, I'm never going on a date with this guy ever again. First of all, you couldn't even 
come up to me and ask me for my number and go ask me out on a date. You had to get your friend to do it. Then when you get here, everything just goes wrong. It's a mess. And I understand that he was probably nervous. I was patient, you guys, throughout the whole entire experience. I wasn't mean to him. I didn't make him feel bad. I did, you know, go into the restaurant with him and we had the food or whatever. And I was very, very thankful. And then the whole time, you know, we're riding back to take me home. You know, he's stuttering and he's just talking about nothing. The whole time we're on the date, he's just talking about nothing. It was very awkward. And literally, the entire time, I just could not wait to get home. I could not wait to get home. That was just like a disaster date. It was really a disaster date. I did kind of feel bad for him. You know, because he was very nervous. And I guess he tried. I don't know. I just... You just got to come better than that. You have got to come better than that. Mmm. You guys, this is so good. A date from hell. Absolutely horrible. I couldn't believe it. Now, I know guys get nervous on a date, but is it that serious? He just could not relax. Like, he could not relax. He was looking at me all awkward and weird. I just felt so uncomfortable. I felt so uncomfortable. Have you ever, have you guys ever had a very bad date? Mm. And that's the only date that I can think of that was really bad. Woo, you guys, I am stuffed. This beef kielbasa is absolutely amazing. These five packs of noodles. I probably ate about three packs. Mm. When I tell you, excuse me. When I tell you this stuff is delicious, it is absolutely delicious. If you like sausage, if you like noodles, I know you will absolutely love this meal. It's very simple. It's not expensive. Um, all you need is the ketchup and mustard. If you like ketchup and mustard, I recommend the ketchup and mustard together. And you guys, I'm telling you, it is so, 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 so good. So delicious. These noodles are literally the best noodles I ever had. So bomb. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the story time today on my worst date ever. Oh my God, bless his heart. I hope he's he's probably married at this point, but who knows? Hopefully he got himself together. And let me know down in the comment section if you've ever been on a really bad date. If everything went wrong during that date, let me know. I would love to hear your stories. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.